This is Hanging Heavy. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Hanging Heavy. As always, I'm your boy, Desecrator. And today, I'm joined by a man that goes by many names. And if you listen enough, you can recall such a nasty bass line that always goes to one man. And that man is Puppy Ray. Ooh! <laughs> What's up, Puppy? Oh, yeah! <laughs> are we going to do wrestling tonight? or? <laughs> Only if we're going to do the glow. The glow. Do you know what that is? No. The glamorous ladies of wrestling. Oh, yes. I've I seen one <laughs> season of that. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I think it only lasted like five episodes or some shit. Nah, I think it lasted more than that. Nah, who knows? <laughs> no, no one can really say for sure. It's Netflix. Come on. <laughs> oh, it was that. Is, is that I think it was on Netflix. Uh, yeah, 2017. But no, not the... Like, there was an actual... Yes, I know, yeah, I know. It's, like, based on the actual... Like, the characters are not from the... Yeah, yeah. Uh, but the whole premise of it. Oh, the gorgeous ladies of wrestling. Damn, it started in 1986. Jesus. And the founder was David McLean. <laughs> Of the uh, oh, the other one that I was thinking of is the one that I saw. Wow, women of wrestling. Oh, that's the one that I remember. But yeah, glow because of the Netflix shit. Uh, But yeah, no. uh, (laughs) Our our local resident wrestling guy is not here. Shout out to Banano. (laughs) <laughs> He's rushing some midges right now. <laughs> yeah, you can't say that anymore. Little people. Uh, little people. Little people. You're Surprise, right. motherfucker. And the grand the grand prize is a modded Xbox. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but only the first Xbox because that's the good one. It has a good heat she- a heat shield. And it did last it longer than 360, so. Yeah, there, you go. there was no red ring of death on that motherfucker. <laughs> uh, but uh, we have a tradition on, around here where at the top of every show we take a shot we chug a beer we take a big old gulp of whatever we got near uh, so before we get too far ahead of ourselves let's go ahead and you ready puppy do it put it up in the air and three two one <laughs> Damn, ladies and gentlemen, you got a mm. you got a good old sounding of some classic ASMR from Puppy over here. I chased it down with a pickle. Mm. Oh. You know, it's funny. I chased mine down with a pickle juice. Oh. Mm. So we're we're connected, Puppy. Oh. Give me your braid. <laughs> nah, I didn't taste that good. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no. stick stick with the lime. Yeah, no. Um, the second bite of the pickles where it's at, puppy. Oh, oh, Take another oh. bite. Let me hear it. Oh, oh honey, hear the other <laughs> bite, puppy. Yeah, here. <coughs> <coughs> oh, mm. Damn, I just got the chills. <coughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, wow, that's good. Big round of applause, puppy. Holy shit. Ooh, ooh. That's enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I wish they could do that on, like, uh, award shows and shit. They're like, oh, now coming in for the fucking Who Gives a Fuck Award. This guy. <laughs> that's enough of that. <laughs> anyway, continue. 
But yeah, we were uh, talking off air right before we started, and uh, the conversation wasn't the important part, but it uh, reminded me of something that I've noticed more and more as years go on. Fucking everyone knows in the States that everything is more expensive than it's ever been, and uh, I don't give a fuck about your politics or whatever. No one gives a fuck. Uh, so mind your fucking business and shut up in public about that shit. No one cares. Anyway, fucking everything is getting more and more expensive. But the one thing that I noticed that has not, it's actually been going down in price somehow are TVs. Yeah. Like, I recently bought a 52-inch TV. They make 52 inches? I think it's 55. Whatever. Like, a a (laughs) decent TV, right? A big TV. Yeah. And I paid, like, 350 for it. It's a smart TV. It's pretty fucking thin. It has good, good sound. The display is better than the TV that it replaced. Like... It's it's not a name brand one, right? Like I think it's a one of the in-house brands from a big box store. But for what I paid for and in the results that I'm getting from it, like fucking that's a W, dude. Yeah, I'm seeing some some like 200. Yeah, right? Like I, I I don't need fucking 8K 3D mamas and all this bullshit, right? I just want a good crisp display that is not completely dog shit, right? I don't care if, oh, well, it, it only supports uh, uh, 60 frames, uh, 60 hertz per second. Uh, it, it, it's uh, it's not optimal for its smooth for smooth transitions, and it needs to be at least 240 hertz for it to be worth anything. Get the fuck out of here, bro. I remember that store would calibrate your TVs back then. I think charge you for like 100 bucks. What the fuck does that mean? I can go to the settings and do that shit. Well, I don't know if it's... It's but not different. Now, no, it isn't. But I don't know if back then was. I'm talking about like. Oh, maybe. Like, yeah, maybe. Maybe. 10 years ago? There was maybe? probably like a. You got to push this sequence of buttons on the remote to enter in the technical support secret app. Yeah, and those people will go to your house, stay there for like. No, the I think you day. leave. No, no, no. You leave your TV there for the whole day to get calibrated. Oh, okay. That's at the store, and they'll just leave it. They'll plug it into something, and they'll it'll get calibrated. What the fuck does that even mean? I have no idea. Okay, when I was let's, look- <laughs> let's do a quick little Google search. <laughs> How did they use to calibrate? Uh. Nothing. They just had it plugged in. <laughs> They warm it. They warm. They warm up the tea for you. <laughs> I'm gonna Google in the 2000s. Why do? Uh, Maybe they're uh, just the uh, the the colors. Pretty much. Okay, here from according to PC Mag, uh, why TV calibration matters. Uh, whatever, whatever. Yeah, you can calibrate. You can, you can do it yourself. Anyone with a Blu-ray player can form ba- basic calibration tests using a disc. Oh, that's like those old CDs that clean the lasers. Get the fuck away! <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Of course, there's a disc. Okay, that's fucking stupid. Yes, essentially they just uh, calibrate the screen size and the color temperatures and the. The gamma rates and all this white balance and shit. Dude, I do this shit all the time. I do it to every TV that I buy. Like, why would... Who was the retard that spent an extra 150 200 to have some guy go to your house all day or fucking take your TV for two, three days just to make it look pretty? Like, you're fucking... You're fucking dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it needs to be professionally calibrated. That way you get the best picture. Shut the fuck up. They're not that... It's not that deep, right? They're just... Fucking TV. They're monitors, essentially. Yeah, I remember I saw it. They had one... Oh, that's... They had one display. Oh, that's calibrated. And and you see the other ones in display? I'm like... 
They look the same. It's the same. What the fuck? I mean, yeah, sure. Maybe it looks a little bit darker and like the colors are more vivid or whatever. But you're also the the calibrated ones. They do the expensive TVs like that, right? They yeah. don't. They don't put the fucking cheapy ones. They don't calibrate those because it doesn't fucking matter. I like how 4K first came out, but there's like people were buying it. Like it's 4K, but you can't. We couldn't watch nothing on 4K. Yeah, nothing was 4K yet. Exactly. Yeah. It was and everyone was still using standard definition. Yeah, and people were wasting with two thousand dollars. Yeah, they, damn. Yeah, exactly. Remember what was that? Like ten years ago. Yeah. If you wanted anything bigger than forty eight, you were gonna spend at least six, seven hundred dollars. If you wanted the top of the line fucking plasma at the time, it was like what, twelve hundred for a fifty inch or some shit? Yeah. And those were like the, the cheaper ones, not even the Sony's and the well, I mean, Sony's are really the best TV you could buy, right? Is it? I think so. Well, yeah, I guess. they have they have the VIO versions, the TVs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but Samsung also had some other good. Yeah, ones. Samsung has great TVs too, right? And like, I guess everybody's just catching up, so the market is oversaturated. So you gotta sell I, them for dirt I, cheap. I think also there's a point where every has their 50 inch TVs now. Like it's no longer, like I said, it doesn't cost you two thousand dollars. No. Yeah, I mean, like yeah. there's everybody at one point at Black Friday bought a fifty inch TV. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just because it was fucking five hundred dollars. Yeah, and that was cheaper than a fucking thirty two inch. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's nice, but I mean, you really don't fucking need such a big ass screen. I do. But I mean, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> With the price of TVs now, fuck, dude. I, I want to make like a whole wall of TV. Uh, I remember they would have a they had an eighty inch display. Uh-huh. I was like, Damn, I, think, I think those are the only ones that are still super expensive. Yeah, well, it's because well, it's inches. a huge ass fucking TV. Yeah. Let's pull up an eighty inch. But yeah, I still laughed at the four K when the first came out. But you can't watch nothing. They could buy it. Yeah. When will 4K be available? Probably in two years. <laughs> It'll be available. Yeah, look, the Sony. Not, not only available, only certain things will be on yeah, 4K. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> A la madre, papi. Here, uh, they're on Office Depot. There's a 98-inch ah. Samsung. Try to guess how much it costs. A 98-inch Samsung. 5000 10000 I'll, I'll give you one more guess. Ten thousand. Ten thousand. That's your final answer. Yes. It's more than that. Oh. Thirty-one thousand six hundred thirty-five dollars. Ah. And it's from a office supply store. I'm not going to give them free shout out. You already did. <laughs> I said office supply store. I didn't say okay. what's one. Can can I drive it home or does it become a car? <laughs> no, you have to pay another five grand. I have a moving company, fucking take it in the crate from Indiana Jones. Okay, here's another, not as good, ninety eight inch, also Samsung. Uh, take a guess. The only thirty one is actually twenty five. Oh well, th- th- like I said, this one is probably not as nice. It's not oh. the the Neo QLED. It's just a QLED. Eighteen thousand. <laughs> no, this one was closer. This one was five grand. Closer, oh. to, your, closer to your first one. Damn! Um, what the fuck is the other one? What did the other one have? That makes fuck it fine. Let me pop it up. Fucking why not? Let's see what a fucking thirty-two thousand dollar TV has or it's spec'd out or whatever. Ah, la madre. Okay, I understand why. <laughs> let me let, let me go ahead and just read this long ass fucking title description. Samsung QN98QN100BF-98. Ooh, catchy name. <laughs> it's the QN100B series LED backlit LCD TV Neo QLED Smart TV Tizen OS 4K Ultra High Def 2160p 3840x2160 HDR Quantum Dot Quantum Mini LED in space carbon <laughs> space <laughs> carbon that's the color oh there's no fucking bezel or on anything how can it be gray how would i even know i would have to look at the back 
<laughs> it's fucking retarded. Okay, so this one has neural quantum processors working on the 4K behind the scenes. Ah. Uh, it's got AI powered processor. Ooh, fale. It's in the TVs now. Get the fuck out of here. Jesus Christ. But I got tired of talking about this TV just reading the fucking title of it. <laughs> I'm over <laughs> it. Fuck your stupid TV. It's got a whole bunch of bullshit that I don't care about. Okay, so I'll give you one more. There's another 98 inch, and uh, it's still not as good as even the last one. Take a guess. 4,000? It's 2,997. So three grand. 3,500 3, with taxes. Because we yeah. live in Texas. The Sony Bravia 4K inch 83 4500 and LG 86 inch at uh at a thousand dollars. So like they're still expensive if you get them in fucking ridiculous size, but even then you can get a cheap one, a cheap 80 inch. <laughs> cheap. I'm looking at the that store we were talking about earlier. Let's see the cheapest 80 inch they got. 80, uh, 75 to 84 inch, yeah? Okay. Uh, let's price match. Oh, they're cheaper, man. They're way cheaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what those other ones are. They're probably made with, like, Holocaust gold or something. <laughs> I don't I don't understand why they're so goddamn expensive. Uh, uh, it's not the, the, the like, the... The ones you could roll up is like paper thin and oh, shit. Oh, no. I think that's LG or Samsung. Fucking one of those companies that makes that, yeah, that roll-up display. That's pretty sweet. But, I mean, that shit's probably going to fucking break real quick. Can't have babies with a TV like that. God damn it. There's 115 inches. <laughs> How many inches do you need, puppy? More than that. Oh, I need them all. <laughs> uh. Free installation, huh? <laughs> Are they gonna give me the mount for free too? But it comes with a mount. Oh. I mean, like the stand, I guess. Oh yeah. Uh, you you want to? Uh, I don't think this wall could hold that shit. I don't stand. It? I don't stand TVs up anymore. <laughs> oh. No, because then you have to have an ugly ass piece of furniture. Yeah, I have one of those. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> yeah, so I look. Uh, most of these are 75 inch, but the 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 first 85 inch is the same brand as my TV. 779. 85 inch. 4K. HDR LED smart TV. That's all I need. $700 for a fucking 85 inch TV. That's cheaper than people's car payments, dude. And that's a wall of TV. That's a fucking huge TV. That's a seven foot TV. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like the size of a fucking wall. But anyway, fucking TV prices are probably the only thing that has gotten cheaper as they've gotten better, which is like ass backwards, but it is what it is. Oh, shit. I think because everybody has them. That's why I'm saying I think because everyone's technology has already gotten so good and like everyone's caught up with everyone anymore already. I mean, because it's a TV. What the fuck can you really do with it other than display shit right yeah it's not like they can make fucking smoothies or some shit well you never know <laughs> it the new kitchen tv it's waterproof hey actually that's pretty bad it's waterproof uh <laughs> now they should make uh like a uh, screen proof they could just hit it and not break <laughs> <laughs> it's got uh what is that shit called uh 
those gorilla screen no 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 oh. that glass sucks dude it's on all our cell phones yeah that shit sucks it all breaks i don't know uh, fuck i can't think of it there's a, a plastic that like i guess when you heat it up it goes back to normal oh really yeah i think so let's see self healing plastic Oh, no. Self-healing plastics is a material that can repair itself when it breaks by releasing chemicals from its capillaries to form a gel that fills cracks and holes. Interesting. The gel hardens almost immediately, and the material can maintain its strength after healing. Self-healing plastics could be used for... Oh, whatever. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Because I know there's uh, metals. That are, it's called memory metal. I don't know if you've heard of that. Yeah. Let me go ahead and pull that up. Uh, a shape memory alloy. It's uh, an alloy that can be deformed when it's cold, but re returns to its pre-deformed remembered shape when it's heated. That's pretty cool. Like... When they, I, I, I want to say it wasn't too long ago that they started fucking with this shit. Maybe like 10, 15 years ago. Or maybe even longer. Fuck, I don't know. Uh, but like, why don't they make this shit? Why don't they make cars out of this shit? You maybe know, it's it, cheap. Oh, sorry. No, go, go ahead. ahead. No, no, go ahead. I was looking through it. I was like, man, so it's cheaper to buy the projection screen, like a 120 inch pie projector. It would be cheaper than buying the fucking like nine inch, a 90 inch TV. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I haven't seen what modern projectors look like, but yeah, I mean, me 20 years ago when it was affordable to finally get a projector, they were dog shit. Yeah, I remember as a kid, there was a, another kid lived on the street. Like, I know him all right. He was a little bit younger than me. He would sometimes, you know, join us and play basketball or whatever. And one time he's like, we were talking about playing Twisted Metal. He's like, oh, you guys really love Twisted Metal? Like, yeah, man. You, know, you guys want to go to my house and play it? I got a huge TV. I was like, well, I got one too. Like, but okay, like. So we go to his house, and his garage uh, was a bedroom now, uh, or a rec room, whatever. And when we go in there, my father starts up his PlayStation, and I'm like, do you have it connected to projector? He's like, yeah, man, that's why I have a big TV. I'm like, what the fuck? It was like the greatest thing ever as a kid. <laughs> And he had the whole wall of the garage, but it's a room now, was the screen. Yeah. It looked, it looked okay. I mean, like, for its time. I, like, I think that was one of the coolest things ever to play Twisted Metal. No. On a huge ass screen? Yeah. yeah had, well, like, now you can rent out fucking, like, a movie theater and you can put in whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. That would be sick, dude. Imagine doing, like, a, like Rocket League or fucking. A fighting game, Mortal Kombat, would be fucking dope on a huge ass screen like that. Yeah. Any game, really, but fuck, dude. A racing game would be pretty sick. But what did you say? Twisted Metal? Twisted Metal, yeah, man. Sounds wild. And then, like, if they have a sound system, too? God damn. <laughs> I don't care where we did or not. I just, uh, I just remember. <laughs> I, I didn't care if I wasn't playing or not. Just watching, just watching it, like, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody was just fucking, oh, what the fuck is this? <laughs> this is fucking awesome. <laughs> Even though it looks all shop, like all shuffle and shit. Yeah. But fuck it, right? You're like, what? A whole wall. I, I don't screen. have this shit at home. Yeah, this is fucking awesome. This rocks. Yeah. Uh, but no, uh,. I guess with that, I know they've uh, made like pretty decent innovations with the screens that they sell for those uh, mon those uh, projectors, and like 
I, I don't remember what it was called, the one that I saw. But, like, it was different from other screens because it it wasn't flat or something. Like, it was different than any screen that I had seen before. Like, maybe it had, like, some kind of pattern in it or something. Where, like, it would catch the light better. And uh, it would make the blacks look darker and the contrast better and shit. Because traditionally they've been just like a white sheet or whatever, right? Yeah. But now people are starting to use black ones and like real dark gray. And like I said, I think it was one that it had like some kind of... Maybe some kind of like reflectant or something on it. And it just made it like brighter and the colors pop more and shit. Which for like a like a movie room or something that would be fucking cool, a huge ass TV. But yeah, it it would be awesome to go and fucking rent a movie theater for a day, or for a night, and fucking just game on it. <laughs> that would be sick, dude. Think about how badass the the surround sound would work. You could hear people behind you. <laughs> It has to be a game that obviously other people could play with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, but imagine kinda... renting out like three different screens just to land a stupid game. <laughs> I wonder how. Let's see how much it costs to rent a goddamn movie theater. 500 bucks. Probably cheaper than a 90 inch TV. <laughs> I mean, at least uh, you're renting a screen, so I don't know. Yeah, you're you're moving us. Uh, AMC. Let's see how much they charge. Uh, select a theater, future date, and show time. Uh, oh, this one sucks. You can't. It says choose a movie from our collection. Lame. I don't want to use a movie. Oh. <laughs> Do you think the people that work in theaters do that often? I don't know. Like, when they started doing it, I was like, who the fuck is doing this? It it sounds way too expensive. <laughs> like, I guess, for me, it made sense for, like, all corporate things and shit. They're like, oh, we're going to rent a movie theater for the, for the team so that they can uh, have fun and whatever. I'm sorry. I'm trying to see how much this shit costs to rent a a theater. Yeah, a theater. What the fuck do you mean? There's no fucking. <laughs> well, this website sucks. <laughs> it doesn't work. Oh, Cinemark Premium. Dude, starting at five fifty? That's fucking cheap. I told you that'd be like five hundred bucks. Private screenings require purchase of all seats in auditorium with weekday pricing starting at five fifty. Minimum seat counts vary by the theater or whatever. The majority being larger than forty seats. God damn, that's a lot of seats, so you gotta pay for the seats, not for the screen. Get the fuck out of here, you cocksuckers. Oh, <laughs> but here at Cinemark they have a gaming event. Rent a theater for gaming and enjoy your own auditorium. Uh, this one's cheaper. Book a private video game party for up to 50 guests. Weekdays starting at 300 for two hours. Africa, that's why it's two hours. Yeah, well, I mean, that's about as long as a movie is, right? Yeah. That's what you do when you rent a theater. You rent the screen for the movie time. $300 for two hours. For two so hours. It's... But we've gone four hours, 600. No? Yeah. But I bet you if you, like, it says at uh, weekdays starting. So you can only do it on the weekdays. You can't do it at. On the weekend? weekend yeah. yeah. I was going to tell you that. Imagine on a Monday or Tuesday when there's nothing. That yeah, when there's nothing to do and shit. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Industry. Never mind, I'm not putting my name in this shit. Just so they can sell my data and fucking... Up to 50 guests. I don't got 50 guests. I don't know 50 <laughs> people, yeah, exactly. 
But starting at 300, that's not bad. Let's say, let's say, yeah, for four hours, about 600. And then I think whatever concessions and shit, that's separate. I bet, let's see, let's read. Get your game on the privacy of your own auditorium using your own console and games. Play on towering screens with state-of-the-art AV systems. And the privacy for the... Yeah, no. It doesn't say anything about the food, so you don't have to... I guess, fucking... Buy their bullshit. On top of paying their bullshit fee. <laughs> but no, that would be pretty badass. Or imagine renting a fucking screen to watch a football game. That would be pretty badass. Well, I guess with that little break in the conversation, we'll go ahead and hear a word from one of our beautiful sponsors. <laughs> Richard. <Rare. laughs> And we're back. And shout out to Monte Milk. Always gets my day started proper. <clears throat> but yeah, in between the break, uh, we were discussing some uh, directorial debuts of certain directors that are pretty much just fucking it up. But that's a conversation for another day. But keeping uh, movies or I guess entertainment in mind um, the Borderlands movie finally dropped and <laughs> it was a big <laughs> <laughs> and uh, to no surprise motherfucker uh, it hasn't done well. Let's go ahead and pull up those. Uh, uh, I guess. Uh, box office. So. Mm, let's. Uh, the movie was reportedly. It cost $115 million. And as of five days ago, the movie has only made 20 worldwide. T worldwide is usually when the movies make their money back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, including worldwide, five million of those dollars came from overseas. So that means yeah. in the States or wherever else they consider not overseas... Twelve million dollars. Uh, I guess uh, Gearbox striking while the iron is hot, and their new movie is hitting the ground running right into a fucking dumpster fire. They 
at GamesCon, I think it's going on, or it just passed, they teased Borderlands 4. (laughs) 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 Dude, the comments on the fucking... On the teaser were just ripping it to shreds. They were like, ah, see, striking while the iron is frozen solid. (laughs) Or, oh, yeah, uh, putting out a movie that uh, has the same writers as the third and third and a half games uh, to a lot of Borderlands fans the last two games have been kind of dog shit cringy writing and uh, I guess all the cool parts of the game they slowly started taking out there wasn't as many cool guns there wasn't as many interesting characters in the last couple so I love the franchise, but uh, the creative director or whatever the fuck, uh, it just ain't it, Chief. Uh, They fucked over the original voice actor of Claptrap, and then they fucking put Kevin Hart as the tall black man. I mean, the (laughs) strong black... I mean... The black guy. (laughs) Uh, God damn it, man. Uh, Every review that I've seen about the movie has been all negative. Uh, The box office is speaking for itself. Uh, I'm not going to watch it because they're just with the announcement of their cast. I was already boycotting this movie. Fuck you, whoever worked in the casting department, you should get fired. And possibly have your feet burned (laughs) with hot pokers. Because fuck you. (laughs) Do you think Eli Roth uh, had a... Did he pick all of them or he had no choice? I don't think he picked any of them. Uh, I think what happened is they were like, hey... You make movies. You're free right now. Do you want to make a cool video game movie? And he was like... Uh, there, There's interviews where he said... Uh, well, I wanted to make a post-apocalyptic movie and something like cyberpunk. So... This was a happy medium. Like, He pretty much didn't make a Borderlands fucking movie. It, it To me, it looks like a shitty Mad Max more than a Borderlands. But it just so happens to have a Psycho and Tiny Tina and old-ass Tannis and old-ass... <laughs> uh, what the fuck's her name? The redhead? <sighs> Siren. Yeah, what's her name? Lilith? Oh, Lilith? Yeah. Like, fucking... Man, right, the casting, right. they fucked it up. The only one that I was kind of okay was with was Jack Black. But nah, he, not even. I mean, yeah. Just get the guy who did clutch. Yeah. Right? Easy, easy choice. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll give in and watch it eventually. It's going straight to streaming, essentially. <laughs> According to... It'd be awesome to see in the Walmart five dollars bin. Hey, if the, Walmart still had it in the Did garbage it? bin, I think they still do have those bins. Did it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it'll be in the fucking two dollar DVD bin. And DVD, <laughs> not, not even Blu-ray. DVD. Yeah, no, not. <laughs> you don't want to watch that shit in four K. Are you serious? Get the fuck out of here! I don't want to watch this bitch getting older on screen. Get out of here. <laughs> but yeah, fucking. Horrible timing. Horrible timing. They should have waited until another shit movie came out so that people could forget about how shit your attempt of it at a movie was and uh, just memory hole it, right? Friggin' act like it never happened. <laughs> uh, and Puppy still hasn't seen Deadpool and Wolverine. No, Deadpool and Wolverine. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen Mad Maxine. <laughs> Mad Max scene. They had a they had a real big missed opportunity to 
come up with a new character and name her Maxine. So but that she, it could it's be a Mad prequel. Maxine. I know, that's why I'm saying instead of making a shitty prequel for a character that nobody really gives a fuck about, <laughs> uh, why didn't they just create a new character in the same world? Call it Mad Maxine. Maybe Max had a daughter. A, yeah, like a bastard kid with Boomerang Boy and a <laughs> Boomerang. Chopper Man. <laughs> No, no, you know he should have had a daughter with Tina Turner. <laughs> oh, even better! Yeah, 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 yeah. Because <laughs> she she actually still lives at at the uh, Beyond Thunderdome. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> and she just stares at him like, "All right." I work hard for, for the money. <laughs> I work hard for what is it called? What do they call gasoline? Gasoline. Gasoline. I work hard for gasoline. And I'm killing you in the dome. <laughs> and then Ike Turner comes out of nowhere and beats the shit out of her. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> He's a master blaster. Oh. He's, <laughs> He's blasting the shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> bitch, That's I horrible. told you to stay in line. This is the apocalypse, bitch. I need my gasoline. I don't know why he's a pimp from the 70s. <laughs> what you messing with this jive turkey? It's <laughs> horrible. Uh, Mad Maxine. It, it wasn't too bad. It's okay. Yeah. But you wanted Mad Max. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, yeah. Let, let's hear your opinion. You heard my opinion about it. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, God damn it. Yeah. Okay. I wanted to see it. Well, you have homework now, puppy. I do have homework. Mm, I want you to watch it at least three times. And I want you to tell me if you notice anything in the desert background at <laughs> at two hours and 15 minutes. I don't even think the movie's that long. But yeah, I guess with that uh, being said, we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, thank you, puppy, for showing up. I know you're mm. tired from being directed by one of the <laughs> one of the greatest legendary directors of our time. <laughs> Maybe yeah. like shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, but yeah, fucking. Hopefully, everybody enjoyed this episode. It's uh, good to get back in the routine. Uh, we'll be hopefully coming up with some some new sponsors pretty soon so now that it's been said it has to be done as always i'm your boy desecrator this was hanging heavy as always much love and rich and rare